Hello YouTube, it's Mr. Ziggin. So, if you're new to this channel, we'll summarize this real quick. So, for other channels, they might put video or put subtitles or put sound, but I've tried that in the past multiple times. I always get a strike and then have to wait 90 days to get rid of the strike. Um, I almost got terminated a few times in the past from trying that. So for the foreseeable future, we'll be doing this way. So if you don't like the way I do it, just go to a different channel. Don't dislike this video because that's why I see a lot of people will be like, oh, just delete your channel. Oh, you're doing it this way, delete your channel and dislike the video and leave. Uh, this is how we've been doing it for the last two years. Uh, so the way we do it is up in the corner here is a timer. Uh, I will put three seconds on the timer if the video is 15 minutes or longer, about 10, 15 minutes or longer. If the video is uh, less uh, minutes than that, I put two seconds on the timer. But basically, I will start my video at zero seconds. I will do a three second countdown. When my video hits, so like three, two, one. And then when my video hits three seconds, I hit continue. And about that's my timer will be linked up with the same amount of seconds as the video. So if you want to watch with me, just put the timer through, put your video to three seconds. When I get to zero, just hit play and you're good to go. You're watching the video about the same time I am. Uh, like I said, if you guys don't like this, go to a different channel. This will be at the start of every anime, television, a TV show or movie episode reaction and review. I do the full time, so if you want to watch it fully with me, that's how we do it. Also, uh, if you want, if you've seen this intro before, you can skip past it because down below here, it's going to be split up from intro to where we start the video. I usually give it about five, ten seconds before we start the video, and then after the video, I do the review. I usually section it off on that, or if we do four, if, uh, we do more than two episodes or three episodes, we'll be sectioned off with each episode reaction um and then at the end we do the review for all of them otherwise that's how we do it here like i said if you don't like it just go off go to a different channel but this is how we're probably going to do this for the foreseeable future otherwise thank you for sticking uh to the whole thing if you're new to this channel otherwise uh let's jump into it whatever this video might be and hopefully you guys do enjoy hello youtube this is mr ziggin i'm back uh so we will be doing One Piece episode 1091. I don't know how long this will be. I'm telling you right now, uh, moving forward, this is the final episode that I will know. This will cover, I believe this will cover chapter 1062, the chapter. After this point, I know nothing. I know maybe small moments from One Piece because I got spoiled. Like uh, screenshots of chapters, but that's it. I don't know anything past this point, really. Um, so I'm very excited. This is the technically the last episode that I know stuff is going to happen. And after this point, I am completely blind to One Piece. Um, so I'm so excited to do that, like jump into this. I'm hoping to get this out tonight. If I don't, it's going to be a Minecraft part and this will come out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this is technically the last episode I'll know anything for. Um... Other than the small points I got spoiled. Um, okay. Uh, Okay, uh... Let me do this, because this is always... Okay, um, we'll put three seconds on the timer, and then we're going to jump into episode 1091 of One Piece. 
Uh, I'll start letting this load. Actually, I probably should refresh this page because this has technically been open all night, this page. Um, okay, episode 1091 of One Piece in three, two, one. I will say, I think I've talked about this a little bit. I love this intro. If anything, I'll be making a powder drink, an energy drink. Boom, this is going through. <laughs> oh, I did get told. I saw this on Twitter. They talked about moving forward in the episodes, they will be combining chapters. So, I got told, Maverick. Like, so, apparently there's a couple chapters with, I know Law versus Blackbeard is a thing. They said that instead of it be in multiple episodes. It's going to combine it all into one episode. They're going to be doing that for certain fights in this. Huh. So we're not going to pull the bleach that's cut away from a fight yeah. to see some they're, other fights. They're actually going to show full fights and actually combine stuff. Which people were curious about when they first announced this, if they're going to do that. Which is great to know because I'm very curious how these fights will go. I know nothing... There's no like big fight this episode because... I know this episode. If it covers the full chapter, which I'm guessing it is. Okay. You <laughs> vega punk. <laughs> yeah, these two absolutely would be floored in me and Vegapunk. Well, frankly, more than anybody, because... But also, they would all be willing to meet Vegapunk because, uh... Uh... Vegapunk did work with Kuma and help Kuma protect the ship. But you did save them. Here's the funny thing. No matter what they think, you're not... Even if you're Vegapunk in that robot, fucking Zoro and them can... Even Sanji. All of these guys can fight back. It's These guys are not ordinary pirates.
They're not you're not going to sink them. I can't think of who she's talking to. I never wrote down these guys' names. Yeah, this is nothing for them. <laughs> <laughs> Shaka. I might have to write down these guys' names eventually here. If like I'll go back and write down names for this because I'm definitely gonna need names for this arc. <laughs> yeah, I'm very curious about that. I'm really hoping we get like everything. Of Kuma. There's something important that definitely turned him into cyborg. It'd be great to get his backstory. Maybe even hers. <laughs> I'm curious how this is done. The future island, Vegapunk. Oh, it almost reminds me of a. Uh, almost reminds me of fucking Bulma's like Dragon Ball, type city. The city of Egghead reminds me of like Dragon Ball design of Bulma and them taking off civilization. From the little bits I've seen of the Earth cities, I don't know if they're all. Or if you only know about a few. There, uh, there's a bunch that are very futuristic. I mean, they have flying cars in it, after all. Or some flying cars. This is uh, technically Vegapunk's future island 500 years into the future. Everything is super advanced technology. Is that the, 
is that robot fighting a dinosaur? Yeah. That's even more like. <laughs> uh, it's it's not real though. Yeah. But. No, it's one of the things where it's another funny coincidence. Cause... If I remember correctly from this chapter, I believe it's holograms fighting each other. I don't know if every I don't remember how much every like everything is holograms or what is holograms here. The ground in this place reminds me very much of like Sonic Green Hill Zone type level. The look and design. Also, this is very bright for this area. I thought this would be a more darker tone area. <laughs> they didn't land he didn't land far from them. <laughs> Hologram. Oh, they're going for it again. Oh, fucking idiots. <laughs> Fucking Luffy, Luffy. <laughs> no, it's all holograms, Luffy. Can't eat it. It's fake. Don't worry, there is something here. <laughs> oh, that's neat for the color design. That color design almost reminds me of uh, what fans first thought Gear 5th was going to be colored. How it's going to be colored. I wonder if that's a reference to that. Because that's very close to what the color design was for the first like Gear 5th color and that people made. It's also neat that he took like a Gear 5th aspect... Yeah, it's probably... They can change the weather. Dr. Vegapunk is a fucking genius scientist.
Bag of cola. Did it say which blue that's from? <laughs> yeah, I do like how it has all the blues in there. The east, west, south, and north blue. Which is neat that it didn't, doesn't have other... Other designs in here. Like, uh... The Grand Line or the New World. Because you would think there would be recipes from both of them. Them ordering. Fucking Jesus. I wonder if she technically would eat more than Luffy. Yeah, I can definitely see technically our world getting to that point with like auto creation of food. It's always about funds, but he is Vegapunk, so it would make sense. Oh, Jim <laughs> hiding his food. <laughs> I like genius scientists for hire, but technically only they're just another they're Atlas Oh they didn't cover full chapter That well also are episodes really this short? 
There's two things in there I know happens in 1062 that did not happen. So we have to watch all the way through, but there's definitely stuff that ha happens in 1062 that did not happen in this episode. So they didn't cover a full chapter. Which I already uh, heard that they were going to start doing that, not full chapters on certain episodes. There's probably people pissed about it too, but it's whatever. I'm curious what the preview is. I'm guessing, if anything, we might get the leftovers of 1062 in the next episode and then there'll be all new stuff, which I'm hoping. Or they could move them and make them add on, like, for it. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Maybe there's extra stuff here. I don't know. I know it's probably the Robin and Chopper's encyclopedia that we've been getting. It's just how long the encyclopedia is. Of the biggest brain in the world. Yeah. Yeah, Mads. I'm hoping we eventually get more of that, too. If we do get, like, Vegapunk backstory or whatever, I'm hoping. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, he developed a way to make objects eat devil fruits. I didn't even think about that. That would be great to figure, like, get more information about that. Okay, let's see preview. Okay, so what we're going to do before we fully review here, uh, we'll be reviewing. I'm just going to I'm gonna look up 1062 of One Piece because we're missing some stuff. I'm very curious now. So what? We covered one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we've covered about 12 pages. Okay. So the only thing we didn't cover. Is the last like three pages. Of the chapter. Which I'm guessing will be something that we'll eventually get to. I'm guessing because of the fact of what happens in those last three pages. It'll probably be section two later on. Um, I could see them just taking those last three pages because, um, and putting them to a, la like, p combining them with later on sections. Uh, but yeah, I, technically, from everything we're seeing, 
in the next episode. It's all going to be new to me. Which is great to know. Technically, three pages at the very end of 1062 haven't been used. But if, like I said, from the small small bits I know, um, I know they're combining chapters for episodes uh, in the future here. So, yeah, I think technically... Like I said, they covered 12 out of like 15 pages, 12 out of 16 pages. Uh, so, um, from this point on, I won't know anything. And it will just be a surprise. So, it's cool to know uh, that. Other than, like I said, three pages of 1062. Um, other than that, I wonder if there will probably be pe people pissed that they didn't cover the full thing. But I'm guessing because of these last three pages, I don't want to spoil for people actually watching episodes. Um, it's probably going to just be fit into when they actually show up, like fit it into a, uh, another section. Uh, but yeah, other than that, yeah. Um, this is more of a calm episode, just building up the Vegapunk Island and all the technology. Uh, I will have to write down Vegapunk's names, each of the Vegapunk robots, uh, because I will definitely need them to go off of later. Uh, other than that, um, I also do wonder if they're going to cover the chapter pages. I'm guessing they would eventually. I know they talked about it a long time ago that they do want to cover the chapter covers in a later date. Um... Yeah, other than that, I think we'll give this probably an 8 out of 10. I do love the episode because it was just building up the land, Vegapunk's island, but also building up the fact that Vegapunk has interests in the Shroud crew, which makes the most sense. Because if Vegapunk now knows Luffy, uh, Luffy's his dragon son, and we know Vegapunk at least somewhat had a history with the Revolutionary Army at one point or another. Um, there's also Kuma was a big, big possibility. So we could. I'm very, very curious where we go from here. Um, otherwise, we'll find out next episode. Uh, probably next episode and further, we'll have longer reviews on this. I just want to try to get this up tonight. So um, yeah. Yeah, uh, probably eight out of ten. Like I said, they didn't cover three cha uh, three pages from chapter ten sixty two, and what it looks like in the preview, they didn't show it. So more than likely, they won't show it off in those three pages. Uh, they probably won't show it off for a while. Maybe it'll be at the end of next episode. Who knows? Um, other than that, um, we'll end it here. Quick review. Um. I don't know what's my... I don't know if I have, like, a big question from this one. Um, maybe I'm I'm hoping for Kuma backstory. That's my biggest thing, is I'm hoping we get Kuma backstory. Other than that, um, I can't wait to see what we get next week. Next week will be brand new stuff for me. So, I will no longer know, other than the small little moments I've been told about. Like, chapters being combined in that. Uh, other than that, uh, if you guys like, if you like, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, recommend subscribing to the channel to keep up with all the content. Otherwise, it's been Miss Grizz again signing off. Have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good night, wherever you are, just have a good day. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next video, and peace.